Oh, the human race, how foolish we are. It's amazing that we have made it as far as we have without wiping ourselves off the planet. Hello and welcome to episode 76 of One Man's Opinion, where I review professional theater in New York and Connecticut. Today I am reviewing the Lincoln Center revival of Thornton Wilder's The Skin of Our Teeth, directed by Liliana Blaine Cruz and playing at the Vivian Beaumont Theater through May 29th. In the 80 years since the original production of The Skin of Our Teeth, I'm sure there have been numerous theories and theses on the themes and meaning of The Skin of Our Teeth. If my opinion is different than others, well, that's the breaks. It's how I see it. The play is a triptych, where it follows three detached acts following the Antrobus family as they face three global cataclysms, an ice age, a great flood, and a world war. Mr. and Mrs. Antrobus, played by James Vincent Meredith and Rosalind Ruff, respectively, have been married 5,000 years and live in Excelsior, New Jersey. They have a son, Henry, played by Julian Robertson, and a daughter, Gladys, played by Paige Gilbert. But wait, how can Mr. and Mrs. Antrobus be 5,000 years old? Well, good question. I'll answer that in due time. Much of Wilder's play, well, almost all of it, is to be taken as allegory. The two are inventors and help society progress through history. The two are human, if immortal. But the thing to know before seeing The Skin of Our Teeth is to take the anachronisms with a humorous and satirical view. The family has a woolly mammoth and a brachiosaur walk into their house in the first act. There were no dinosaurs in the Ice Age, and humans didn't have a modern house or lived in a town called Excelsior, New Jersey. Details like those and the Great Flood from the Bible happening in Atlantic City are used as comic tools to express the outrageous situations the family finds themselves in as their own flaws, whether it be hubris or apathy or self-righteous anger or anything else, threatens their extinction. It's not that they are 5,000-year-old people. They are metaphors for the human race. In Act 1 and Act 2, we survive apocalyptic natural disasters. Our resilience and devotion to the survival of our own species prevail. But in Act 3, it's something unnatural that challenges our existence, ourselves. Blaine Cruz takes Wilder's first two acts and blows them up into grand absurd comedies, where the family slowly fractures. By the third act, they are split with Mr. Antrobus and Henry on opposite sides of the war. The third act starts with additional broad comedy, but turns hard as it addresses the most important theme of the skin of our teeth. Are we destined to be the architects of our own inevitable destruction? Maybe today Wilder would have written an act with us gluttonously wasting the Earth's resources leading to us baking through global warming. Regardless, the message is profoundly clear, that our greatest danger isn't what may happen to us by the harsh world around us, but ourselves. Adam Riggs' set is awesome to behold. The Antrobus house is slowly falling apart in the first act, with one wall collapsing, and the Atlantic City set in the second act is a marvel. If I have one criticism of the production, it's that it feels like so much attention was drawn to the design of the show that the performances became secondary. Not that any of the cast was necessarily bad, but the performances weren't drawing focus as much as the set design was. Not that the design shouldn't be this big and brilliant, but on a stage as big as the Vivian Beaumont, the actors have to be just as big and sometimes they felt like an afterthought. If there was one performance that truly stood out, it was Gabby Beans, who in Act 1 and 3 plays Sabina, the housekeeper, and Act 2 plays a devilish looking beauty pageant winner trying to seduce Mr. Antrobus. She has the privilege of having moments on stage where things aren't going to pot and gets to break the fourth wall a bit to address the audience, making her much more personable. The Skin of Our Teeth is one of those plays that everyone should see and Lincoln Center's production is an absolutely worthy production. The story is clearly told. It may take a bit for the modern audience to grasp the concept, 
but once it settles in, it is a very powerful play. I could probably go on about its additional metaphors, but it would overrun this review. It's grand, almost to the point of ostentatiousness in its design, but I wish the performances were given a bit more focus to match the brilliance of its look. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you're interested in seeing the skin of our teeth, I'll leave a link in the description. Support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, hit the notification bell to be alerted to future reviews. My next review will be the last Broadway show of the season, Mr. Saturday Night. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the theater.